Rocky Hawa, Rakata, Ya Hawasha, Rocky Hawa, Rakata, Ya Hawasha, Ba Hashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Two Republican Congressmen Claim UFOs Could Be Angels Sent by God. Lord Will, you are edified. This video was inspired by a posting Elder Shaquat of Mississippi received from a group chat he's in, okay? And again, through the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, we have been on point, okay? And this begins with our apostles of Great Millstone. Because through the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, we have entered into other men labors okay period all right so again two republican congressmen claim so-called ufos could be angels sent by the most high as they say sightings are consistent with scriptures from the bible and they receive this information from the prophets case in point let's go to Isaiah 13 and 2, lift you up a banner, the scriptures, on the high mountain, America. Exalt the voice unto them. And that's how we preach this word, by exalting our voice, okay? Verbalizing the scriptures. Shake the hand, okay? These are some of our attributes, all right? That they may go into the gates of the nobles. So now this truth Okay, has been observed by the nobility of Edom. Okay, and that began years ago. And now we have became a problem through the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. The nobility of Edom controlled this entire system. Okay, and this control was given to them from Yahweh through Yahweh Shah. Right? So the point is. That so-called UFOs are chariots of Israel. Okay, case in point. Let's go to Zechariah, right? It's lock, yo. The fifth chapter. Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I turned and lift up my eyes and looked. And behold, a flying roll. This flying roll is describing a chariot, right? And he said unto me, what see you? So the angel is asking Zechariah, what do you see? And I answered, I see a flying roll. I see a chariot. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. So now he's giving a description of of this chariot okay verse 3 then said he unto me this is the curse that goes forth over the face of the world so like yeah. then said he unto me this is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth right so the balance of the chariots okay it's a curse to some and a blessing to others and the blessing Okay, referring to the elect of Israel, beginning with 144,000. A curse to some, referring to two-thirds of Israelites, okay, that will die in America, and the non-elect of Israel, who are Israelites outside of America, and most importantly as well, Esau and these other nations, wherever they might be. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that still shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. And everyone that swears shall be cut off. Edom will be cut off after 1,000 years in the kingdom. As on that side, according to it. Right? So let's go to Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he, referring to Yahweh Shah, come with clouds, so-called UFOs, 
okay, and their true identity are holy chariots, the chariots of Israel, and every eye shall see him, literal, and they also which pierce him, okay, uh, and this supports reincarnation, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so to wop. Okay, going back into Zechariah chapter 5 on how um, the scripture stated that this is that this is a curse. Okay, this is a curse for who? For some. All right, and let me just get this so I don't mess up the wording. Again, Zechariah. Five and three, then say he unto me, This is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. Reverting back to Revelation 1 and 7, right? And just getting to the point, and all kindreds of earth shall will because of him, even so to walk. Let's go to Isaiah 63. Who is this that come from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? America is modern day Basra. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Hence the fathership, a chariot. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. So the Holy Spirit came upon Isaiah. And he was prophesying the return of Yahweh right? Let's go to wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man, the prophet, stand in great boldness via the Holy Spirit before the face of such as have afflicted him, beginning with Esau trickling down to these other nations and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Right. The elect being beamed up in that chariot. Okay. So far beyond all that they look for. Let's go to Eagles. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 27. For as the lightning come out of the east and shine even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So Yahweh Shai, once he um, cracks those clouds, once he enters into the earthly realm from the spiritual realm, he's coming from the east, right? Just like lightning comes out of the east and shine even to the west, right? Verse 28, for wheresoever the carcass is, the carcass is symbolic for the elect, right? There will the eagles be gathered together, the eagles referring to the chariots, right? Let's go to a cloud. Um, and I want to jump to, I think it's in Revelation chapter 10, honestly. I would have been better off. Revelation 10 and 1. And I, and I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven clothed with a cloud. Meaning what? This angel is operating a chariot, a so-called UFO. And a rainbow was on his head, multicolored chariot and his face was as it were the sun his chariot has bright lights and his feet as pillars of fire and this is just talking about how fire shoots out from the bottom of the chariot okay um exodus 13 and 21 but the most high led the people about Okay, but the Most High led the people about, the Most High led the people, Israelites, about out of Egypt through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, and the sons of Israel went up harnessed out of the land of Egypt. All right, let me just jump down to verse 21. And Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, a chariot, to lead them the way. And by night in a pillar of fire, a chariot. So Yahweh was in a 
in the fathership leading us out of Egypt, okay, to give them light to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. All right. Um, what's one more? Wise man. Wise man to start, I think. May not be it. Let's go to, I think it's in Matthew, the second chapter. All right. Matthew 2 and 1. Now when Yahushua was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born, king of the Jews? For we have seen his star. What star? The chariot. Okay? A so-called UFO in the east and are come to worship him. All right? Period. Okay? So that star, right? That star was a chariot. And it led the wise men to Yahushua. All right. So Esau knows. All right. Which also shows support that Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah is dealing with the prophets. OK. And the true leaders of Israel, whether you like it or not, are the apostles of Great Millstone trickling down to the sincere to the sincere men of Great Millstone, as well as other camps that teach the same doctrine. All right. So so-called UFOs are nothing but chariots of Israel. However, Esau has been attempting to uh, demonize these spiritual vehicles. But best believe he knows okay, what they are. And there's so many videos that we have conducted and composed via the Holy Spirit supporting our claim. So Lord will you are edified. Shalom.